video, I'm gonna be having an at-home photo shoot show. La show show. <laughs> For today's video, I'm gonna be doing an at-home photo shoot. So I thought I'm gonna show you how I do my at-home photo shoot. Kasi may mga nagtatanong din kung paano ako nag-shoot at all. So today, I'm gonna be using my Realme 8 phone. So it looks like this. Um, this is the new launch from Realme, as you can see there to leave and all. So this has 64 MP camera, and they have their Realme 8 Pro, na merong 108 MP, like super bonga. Mas mahal siya ng onte, of course, but we have this one, and this is super thin yung camera nito. And this has, oh no. So again, this has 64 MP AI camera, yung main camera niya sa likod. Helio G95 gaming processor, so perfect kung hindi kayo mag-gaming and all. And meron din itong 5000 mAh battery and it is super slim as you can see and sobrang gaan, as in sobrang gaan. So today, I'm gonna be shooting for a brand. And kapag nag-shoot tayo sa brand, usually meron yung mga requirements or mga mandatories doon sa photo. So, required na magkaroon tayo ng plain wall. So, sabi nila doon, white plain wall, pero wala akong white plain wall. So, we have light pink. And kapag sa photo naman, hindi naman siya super halatang light pink siya. So, we're gonna use this as my background. So, para sa shoot natin today, ang mandatories lang ay kailangan naka-red lipstick, naka-red na top, and naka-fly away. <laughs> Basta maayos yung hair, tapos hindi siya naka- cover sa face and all. So, you're gonna need your phone, your tripod, this um, attachment, itong phone attach attachment. This phone attachment right here that I super love as in super super nagagamit ko to, guys. Kasi, you know, you can use it like that para yung phone mo nakatayo. And you can use it like this para yung phone mo nakahiga. Guys, oh my gosh. Sobrang life-changing ito. So, if you're looking for a phone na parang hawakan ng phone at all. I really recommend this one para hindi nyo naiikot-ikot at all. As in, highly recommended talaga. So, I'll just put the links of my equipment down below. And you can also use a remote control. This one, actually, kasama to sa isa pang tripod na nabili ko sa Shopee, I think. Pero, you can use this kahit hindi kasama yung tripod. So, kinonect ko na siya dito sa phone ko. Mas madali kasi kapag naka-remote kasi yung magta-timer ka na isa-isa. Yung unang photo shoot ko, ayan, yung picture na yan. Yung unang photo shoot ko, gamit ito, naka-timer lang ako, sis, kaya wala ako sa gitna. Well, anyway, for this video, tatanggalin ko yung watermark because kailangan malinis ang ating photo. So, ilalagay ko yung phone ko like this, ayan, and nakatapat ito dito sa salamin ko. Wait lang, ipapakita ko sa inyo, ilalagay ko lang. So, this is my setup right now. Ito yung camera. Ayan yung lagayan. And, naka-shorts lang ako because hindi naman tamayin kita sa camera. So, you know, as comfy as possible. So, naka-shorts lang tayo. Test shot lang muna. Why is it not? Yeah. And then, I'm gonna check. Pwede mong iikot ng ganyan. Okay, it looks okay, but masyadong dark yung ditong side ko. So, lipat ako ng place. Minum ko lang siya ng a little bit. And I can still see myself sa mirror. Ay, sulit na ba ako? Ayan. Medyo mahirap na tumingin sa salamin kasi medyo nandito na ako sa kabilang angle. Ano? Yan, mga test shots lang before tayo mag Formal. Okay, I love, I love. And as much as possible, huwag nyo i-zoom. Pag mag-picture kayo, as much as possible, ilapit nyo mismo yung camera sa inyo para full yung quality, okay? So, yung shot natin actually, dito lang sa taas. So, no problem sa shorts. So, again, yan, mas nakikita ko na yung sarili ko sa salamin. So, we're gonna go sa gitna. Igigit na ako yung katawan ko and then post. Okay. Check. Ooh, I love it! I love, love, love. Okay. Game. Ready na tayo. Okay, I'm gonna shoot na a little. Okay. I really suggest na maglagay kayo ng mirror sa harap kung ganito ang main camera yung gagamitin nyo para para hindi tayo mawala sa framing. Ano? Okay, natin. you have a 
big headspace. As you can see here, masyadong malaki yung headspace ko. Kinocrop ko yan usually sa photos para hindi masyadong um, malaki ang openness. And nakafocus lang sa akin yan. <laughs> And tip sa pagpo-post, nalaman ko dati sa parang America's Next Top Model ata yun, you want to post kung ano yung gusto mong makita mo sa picture mo. Okay, kung gusto mo ng fierce, mag-fierce ka. Ayun, lagi yung iniisip ko dati kasi syempre nahihiya ako ng fierce-fierce-san, na look, yung mga ganun-ganun. But yun lang yung iniisip ko. Kung ano yung gusto kong itsura ko sa picture ko, ay yung ginagawa ko sa isip ko. Okay. And also, kasama din dun sa briefing guide. Briefing na guide pa yun. Basta kasama dun na as much as possible, medyo maluwag yung framing. Like, merong extra extra space sa gilid because i-edit pa to, ipopost-edit pa to ng brand. Okay, so meron na akong best photos. Nakapili na ako ng mga lima and I guess that's enough yung limang pagpipilian na yun. Kasi usually isa, dalawa lang naman yung nag end up sa feed. Lalo na yung mga ganito brand post. So sa editing naman ng photo, usually ini-enhance ko lang talaga yung photo and binabawasan ko yung shadows para super clean tignan at saka warmth and something. But if you want a dedicated video for that, let me know. I'm gonna make a video for you guys how I edit my uh, photos sa Lightroom. So when it comes to camera, I really recommend this phone. And you can get the pro version if you want kasi mas mataas yung megapixel niya. But this is enough. Kung meron kang natural lighting, sobrang crisp ng photos niya. And also, if you're into gaming and heavy usage, you can rely on this phone. So that is it for this video. All the details from my equipment for this phone, lahat nasa description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.